Pisces to your beginning of the month reading for September. I hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, hit that big old like button. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you in September. I hope it's already been treating you well. Best messages coming out. Let's see. Do have that Astro Dice out, guys, which gives you kind of a rundown of the month of one of your 12 houses to kind of give you an idea. So if you guys haven't checked that out, go ahead and check that video out. You can find it in the playlist. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Best messages for the beginning of the month. Firm foundation. It's the same as the Four of Pentacles. Really finding that firm foundation within yourself. Really locking it down. Really finding that stability. You could even be holding on to some money, saving some money, um, or just really building that foundation. And literally within a career and money area, you could be definitely saving money. Um, for whatever it is, that rainy day money, or maybe you have something in mind, um, or maybe you're just getting ready to build that empire if you, you know, are running your own small business or however it is. Let's see what's going on. Here somebody might even be building a house by setting down the firm foundation, getting ready to not just build an empire, but build a home, right? Okay. Best message coming out of that. Well, there it is, building a home. I, I'm telling you, I'm picking up someone who is actually building a house or maybe fixing their house. But this is a foundation and achievements. Really wanting those rainbow blessings. Really looking for, you know, this is what I want. You might even have some kind of uh, pursuit in some kind of financial decision going on or career advancement. You know, really laying it down, though. I like that. Seizing those opportunities. Let's get in here and see the situation. There's definitely a blessing on the horizon. And you have 4-4. Four, four. Wow. Wow. Talk about a stable. <laughs> Sitting yourself in the knowing. So knowing where you're going, really having this idea, okay, so, yeah, it's like knowing the obstacles and the challenges that lay ahead, um, so it does feel like, you know, I, I'm working on this, I'm laying these foundations, I've got this, I'm waiting for the blessing, but I understand, it's like you're going to understand the obstacles and the challenges that lay before you, it's not like something that's going to be like, oh my gosh, I don't understand, no, you're definitely, you're in the knowing, your crown chakra is completely open. You know that they are throwing these obstacles and challenges at you or that the universe is throwing these obstacles and challenges at you so that you can have the four of wands, so that you can have the milestone, so you can have the blessing. Um, so, yeah, it says where the love begins, Ace of Cups. Wow. So you got this Ace of Cups coming in, and it's like where you feel, you know, like home is, what you feel you are surrounded with that fills you up and finding those achievements. But it is something that says with the obstacles and challenges, it's something you're going to have to stand your ground for um, while you're in this, this process. So it's kind of uh, almost feels a little bit like a test in some ways, or you could see it as a test. Is the universe testing you, you know, and making you test yourself? You know, it's kind of crazy. I want to say that it's you. It's almost like the universe is saying I'm, Testing you so that you can test yourself, but that's usually how it really is anyways, right? So you're going to be standing your ground for this situation. Standing up for what it is you truly want, because you know what it is you want. You're building the foundation for it, whether it's love, finance, career, whatever it is, a material, right? That would just be like maybe just saving that money for that trip, you know, however it is. And then maybe they're throwing some obstacles at you like, well, you got all this money saved. I'm going to do this. Right? And, uh, and then it becomes that little bit of a challenge. But it's nothing that you 
that you're like, you're not, a, you know, it's like it's nothing you're not aware of. As soon as it happens, it's like, ha, ha of course it would do that. You know, welcome to the, the game of life, you know. So it's, you know, be careful of people who want to manipulate you or things that want to try to throw you off your planning. Um, right. And that's, that's kind of what it feels like. It's going to kind of try to throw you off what you've been planning causing some kind of delays, causing some kind of, uh, you know, obstacle that you're going to have to get through and really keep that confidence, you know, for yourself. Yeah, it's not going to be the greatest. It's not going to cause any happiness. If anything, it's going to make you feel like you're sliding a away from your Nine of Cups. You're sliding away from that opportunity, that what you love, that blessing, that genie in a bottle, that overall what I want, uh, that wish come true. But just remember, it really is, this really is a test. I mean, the more we're saying it, the more we know, you can see it. How much do you want it? How is it going to affect you? How long are you going to hold on to it? How long are you going to hold on to that? What's your reaction? How long are you going to hold on to that reaction? So I take this away from you. How, how long are you going to be sad about that? How long are you going to hold on to that dissatisfaction? If it's going to be days and days and days, you probably won't get your three scoop ice cream, guys. If it's just going to be a couple hours, but see, the thing I like about it is that it says you're going to see it right away. But just because you see it doesn't mean you still don't feel it. You can say, oh, shit, you're doing that, but then go into a lower vibration of dissatisfaction. Um, the universe says, okay, I, I just wanted to see, I want to see if you really want a three scoop ice cream or a one scoop ice cream. Cause you know, right now you're getting a one scoop ice cream. I mean, is that, that what you want? You can hold on to this for all, this whole week, but that's just showing me that you can't handle what I'm giving you. So when it comes, you know, of course you're going to be pissed off. That's going to happen. We're human. But it's how long are you holding on to this disappointment? If you're holding it on for, you know, most people are, depending on the situation, should be holding on to it for about, you know, anywhere between an hour, a half an hour, 10 minutes, depending on how big it is, to 24 hours. But if you're going more than that, you're really showing that, you know, you can't handle that. Right? And that's really what this test is about. And I know it sounds crap. It sounds crappy, but that's you know I didn't make the law. I just learn and tell you. Repressing emotions. You don't need to repress the emotions, though. That's why the spirit's like I don't want you to repress the emotions. I want you to let it go. No one said repress it. Let's get that right. We nobody said it in repress those emotions. Because you can't repress things from the universe. The universe knows you're repressing. You can only repress from another person. No, no, no. What you want to do is you want to... Okay, that's it. Fine. 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 Let it go. No, to others, you might be showing that because you don't want to cause... Upsetting it with other people. You don't want to spread that, you know, to others. Or, you know, spread fear that something's going on or cause yourself any more inner confusion. So you definitely, you know, just like let it go. Balance yourself out. Balance yourself out. Be diplomatic about the situation. Shit happens. And yes, Sometimes it happens right before you get, just before you get your gold. A lot of times that's kind of one of, one of the things, what is one of the main things that we do before we get our manifest, manifestations and our wish come true? We get tested. Stand your ground. You're going to stand your ground. I already see, you know, it's like spirit says, just use your, yourself, be your own supportive leader. 
understand that there's going to be obstacles and challenges, whether it's with you, another person. If it's with another person, just let it go. Don't allow them to ruin. You stand up for yourself and your, that's what it's saying. You're standing up for your manifestation. You work too hard, guys, to let this just destroy everything you have. Bottom of the deck, which you don't see coming, is the sun. There's the blessing. Right? But it was. It was releasing. You can't do. Releasing limiting beliefs, negative thoughts, things that hold you back away from achieving your goal, not allowing things to oppress you, depress you. Just rest and relax. You're going to have these choices, choices in love, going after what it is you're truly passionate about, watching the passion, watching your passion come, come in. Having the awareness and the understanding of what it is that truly you want and watching everything become your inner calling, watching your, your day, right? This is your day of reckoning. This is what you are wishing for. This is where your gifts come in. This is where your judgment comes, you know, comes through. This is where your new phase starts. New phase always comes through your personal transformations. And yeah, you're going to have this tower. Yeah, you're going to have this stormy time. Yeah, you're going to have this restless, be, you know, this restless energy. Maybe be dealing with someone who is restless. Maybe you are just restless in itself, right? You might even feel like it's a collapse. Just don't allow yourself to sit in a place of suffering. As Spirit says, there's no reason for that because if you fear the change, right, release the fear. Don't allow this to um, completely control you because no matter what in life, we live in a place of duality, happiness, sadness, upsetness. And we have many tests on our journey. And this is going to take you into that new phase, that new phase of what it is you truly want, a new place of where you can look out and say, there's that ship coming in. There it is. There's that ship. That's what I wanted. There's the progress that I want. That's the moving forward. That's what I want. Here comes that opportunity that I was looking for. Man, I had to go through this crap to get here. But I had to withdraw from that energy. I had to leave and walk that, you know, walk, kind of walk. The, I want to say walk the line. I don't know why I want to say that, but it's like walking the line. The line is like a thin line between the good, the positive and the negative. But it was almost like you were walking, you were escaping, you are withdrawing from all of these cups that no longer serve you. Those are those cups, those obstacles, those challenges. Right, I don't want those. I'm seeing this as, you see it as a test. Right? So that you can get to the Ace of Cups. Look at that, you have the Ace of Cups. But you had the Ace of Cups here. So it makes no sense because it says this is where you're going. This is what I want. And they say, here you go. Walk away from that. Don't give it so much of your energy. Walk away. Have an understanding. Watch your enterprise come through. Watch this and be prepared for the Ace of Cups to come in. Because now you can see your ship's coming in. Now you know where you're going. So you have to release all of these things first. And Spirit says, don't worry. The beginning of the month is just kind of a test and trial and a tribulation to get to that, you know, to that what you really truly want. Because you're so right there. You're at this milestone. This is a card of a milestone. You're right there. I just, if you want to win the race, I have to throw this at you. I want to see how much you really want this. I want to see if you see if you're really worthy for this. I want to see if this is what you really have. Can you let things go? Can you do this and that? Because if you're, oh my gosh, it reminds me of when I was in a, when I was in a meeting. When I was in the meeting, I, I go to meetings to learn this, this manifestation stuff. Uh, literally. If you think that losing, if this is a money situation, it doesn't matter what it is, but we're going to use money as the example, and you can throw what you have in there. If you think that losing, if you just lost $100, and you're praying for more money and a promotion and all this stuff, and I want all of this, that you think that losing $100 was the killer. I mean, there's just the ultimate, oh my God, I'm going to die. You know what I mean? The universe doesn't want to give you more. 
because you've capped yourself out. You're saying, I'm not worth this much, and I think that $100 is way too much. I, I just, and if you can't handle losing $100, then how are you going to make, how are you going to make more money? Because the more money you make, the more you'll probably lose. Why? Because the more money we have, the more money we spend. So, think about it. If you make, I'm just going to say whatever. It might sound ridiculous. It doesn't matter. It's, a, it's the point. You make $3,000 a month or a, a paycheck. We'll just say that. A paycheck. Make $3,000 a paycheck. And you're saying you want to make $5,000 a paycheck. But you can't stand to lose $100. What's going to happen when you make $5,000 $5, a paycheck? You're going to want more expensive material. But usually in life when we have things, we might have better, bigger things. But they're saying if you're just going to cry about this and that, see what I'm saying? The universe says, okay, if you want that, I'm going to give you this. If you can't handle losing $100, then... The thing that you're going to lose next time because you bought something more expensive. Now you're going to lose three hundred. How are you going to feel when you lose three hundred? Oh, because I make more money. No, you won't. No, you won't. No, that's not true. Because as soon as you hit that three hundred, you're going to cry about that too. You see what I'm saying? And actually, it's true. Uh, the more money we make, the more money we spend. So it's kind of crazy, but you know, and it's so crazy because I've gone through this test myself. And in some ways, I'm kind of going through it myself right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, this is a very common test for, for everybody. So you're really going through a very common, common test. Um, and you've probably felt like you've done this before. You know, oh my God, I've done that once before. But you're going to have the big happy changes. Just remember, what is the reaction to the action and how long you're holding on to that and how is it going to affect you? Remember, because we lose things to replace things. One door closes to one door open. It's the same idea, no matter how it works, success. You have to jump loops and hoops. That's just the way life is made. you guys have the big happy change and the success so jump those hoops my friends go after that three scoop ice cream don't sit over here and say i'm only worth one scoop because you're definitely not um you know and don't say you're worth two either because there's no reason to go one two three you just go one to three <laughs> you know what i mean we don't even need to go there right and if you feel like i'm oh, white i just came from one i'm at two now okay well then get to three let's go snap snap <laughs> You guys are amazing. You guys are worth so much. Um, Spirit just wants you to understand that, you know what, you got this. Having the better understanding, you're going to sit in your knowing. You know what to do. You know how to do this deep down inside. We all do. It's just about doing it, proving it, and getting to that ultimate blessing. Until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.